Hi, everyone. I didn't expect even this many people but with the heat and everything. Um, really thrilled to see you and some of you who have contributed to our lovely little video, which I'm very excited about. I hope you'll like it. Um, it's, it's beautiful. It's wonderful what you've done. Um, and it gave me the idea to do that kind of thing again, I hope, Claire, we'll, won't we? Yeah, yeah. Um, great. definitely. Uh, we love it. We love it. <laughs> So uh, today I, I wanted to do with you, I won't do the whole half an hour like we usually do our workshop. I will just do um, this song, which is very short, but it's one of my favorite ones by Hildegard. It is, um, I think you've got all the English translation. It's a kind of prayer and um, it is very short, but very um, poignant. So I really love it and I hope you will enjoy it. Now I won't, when we did the Hildegard last time, I um, I did it in a very straight for, uh, so very straight way so that everyone could follow. Now I won't sing it like that later in the show um, because it's very free and I'm on my own. So I I, I do what whatever inspires me in that moment. So I want to do today a kind of going in that direction that we that we don't feel we're strictly doing every note equally so that we all know where we are. So I do it already in that free way so that you can enjoy later and I hope you will all join me when when the moment comes in the show so without further ado let's go and do a first line or pastor animarum the first phrase is pastor. let's do that again So let's go from animarum and animarum et oprima vox. Now this may seem complicated. I will do that slowly again. We will just do et oprima. Once more from et. Et o prima vox. Let's do that from the beginning again. I want to make sure you've all got, and if you're finding it a bit high, I'm sorry, today we can't really do a lower version, but while we're learning it, I think we should take it down um, because there's nothing worse than singing notes that are slightly high and trying to get the right notes. So I, I want to do, um, uh, let's do, let's do it two notes lower for now. And now the anima room. Anima room. Let's do that again. Good. Let's take that up one note. So for people who uh, have do medium, don't like high, but find this one too low. Let's take it up to C. Once more. And the phrase you know already. So let's do that. Let's do that whole phrase again. Breathe. Et prima vox. Great. Let's do it in the key that it will be done in later, which is also the one you've got written there in D. Okay. Or again from the beginning. And 
now for the next bit, I'm staying in this key because it's nice and low anyway. So, so this goes now. Perquam omnis. Let's do it again, just this bit. Perquam omnis. Creati. Let's do up only up till there. Creati. So this may seem strange. Let's do that again. Perquam omnis creati. whole line again, Perquam Omnis, Perquam Omnis Creati Sumus. Okay, from the beginning now, let's go. Um, Stay in this higher key. Um, and O oh, Pastor, Animarum, et O oh, Prima Vox. Breathe. Perquam omnis. Breathe. Creati. Breathe. Right. Okay. Next bit. Uh, again, we breathe after the first TB. So now it's Nunc TB. Nunc TB. Breath. Good breath. TB. Once more from Nunc TV. Nunc TV. TV Placeat. Breath. Ut digneris I hope you had in the score, I see that there's a note missing, but it's because it's an old score. I hope you got the... Um, one where the note is clear, but I'll do it uh, slowly again. So we've done Nunc TB breath, TB placeat, ut digneris nos. Is that what you've got written, Claire? Yeah? Okay. So I'll do again from the ut. Um, so that will be Ut digneris nos. Let's do that whole phrase one more time, reasonably strict for now, then we'll do a free version in a minute. Nunc tibi, tibi plati. Now, similar beginning, um, um, like the previous line, but this time the words are liberare. So um, I will go now to de. So we will do. Breath. Yeah, so let's do that again slowly. I 
to be Mise again. Mise. Let's do it for our low singers. Um, let's do for a moment in this key from Liberare. Liberare de miseries. And a tone up for our medium singers. written in D. So now um, the last line is quite low so we will only do it in D. So I'll do it slowly once. Et lango breath. Oh, so you see, we're doing a breath before the last o oh, ho oh, ho, oh, before the last three o's. I'll do that again. Et lango oh, I'm very strictly now. Et lango oribus breath nostris. Okay, so um. Any line that was difficult? I think we the ones I didn't do enough, I feel, is the nunc tibi. Yeah, so the the third phrase, nunc tibi, tibi placeat. Let's do that again <clears throat> in the lower key. Nunc tibi breath. Tibi placeat. Breathe. Ut digneris nos. One tone up in C. Nunc tibi, tibi placeat. Ut digneris nos. And in D. So you see, I'm speeding it up a little bit now. I hope that's all right, um, that you don't find it too fast already. But just because we haven't got much time and it's good if you get used to that we play with it and yet you feel very free with it. So I'd like to run the whole thing now twice more. Um, so one version, so that you clarify any doubts, one version very straight and then one um, close to what I think I did for the filming. Okay, so here we are. Uh, in the in the key that it's written in. So sorry about anyone who finds the high notes too high, but luckily they only appear twice, uh, so or three times. Okay, here we go. Oh, pastor, Ah. Uh -huh. 
Tam omnis creati So at the end, I didn't stay strict. Um, that gives you an idea how it's going to go. So I suddenly do no. But um, you do it any way that you feel like, yeah. Um, let's try a bit of a freer version and stick with your own and try to follow at the same time. So let's see how that goes. Oh, pastor, Omnis creati sumus nunc tibi tibi placeat udigneris no. Right. Okay. Thank you very much for doing this song with me, which I love so much. And I hope you enjoy it and um, that you will keep singing it. It's a beautiful thing. And over to Claire for some last minute explanations. And yeah, thank you so much for um, spending this evening with us. Um, it means connecting on various different things, which I hope is not <laughs> too complicated. Um, but the plan is now um, that you've got a few minutes and, uh, uh, to, to grab something to eat, which is what I'm going to do. Um, and then at 7.55, if you go either to our YouTube or Facebook channels, you'll be able to watch the film that many, um, well, many of you here today are actually involved in. Um, uh, which is really lovely. It's, uh, it's an, uh, another piece actually that, that is also Studium Divinitatis, which we learned in the in retreat sessions, which are on a Friday, which I'd urge you to come to if you haven't been uh, before. We've done um, Hildegard a couple of times, but we do a lot of medieval music, Sephardic music and lullabies, that's in, in, in rotation. Um, and the next one is on Friday, which is actually a sing-along concert. We do a kind of cycle of three concerts, um, Two, two workshops and then a mini kind of reprise of those and a chance to sing together over Zoom. Um, and we usually do, I don't think we're going to do it today because I think we want to probably um, move on to the next course, so to speak. Um, but we normally do an unmic at the end that everyone actually to sing together and it's chaos, but it all makes us laugh. So that's quite fun. Um, we won't do that today, but um, so what I say now is at 7.55, do tune in uh, to either YouTube, our YouTube channel or, or our uh, Facebook um, channel. Um, both are the same, effectively. So youtube.com forward slash the telling music or facebook.com forward slash the telling music. Um, and you'll see there are two films um, on both of those pages sort of set for today. Um, 
uh, they won't go live until 7.55 for the um, participants film and then eight o'clock for the main event. It's like going to the cinema and having a, you know, like in, in when I was a kid, um, and having a pre-call. <laughs> so that's kind of what it's like. And then afterwards at 8.45, um, back on Zoom, uh, the links and the details of, of everything is on or, or on our website, www.thetelling.co.uk. And um, the, the Zoom link for the post show is also there. So uh, come and join us afterwards to celebrate and to ask any questions about the show. Um, I'm going to shut up now. Thank you very, Claire, very I much. I say, Claire, um, the song that we do at 5 to 8, Studium Divinitatis, appears in the show, but oh, as yes. a harp solo. So yes. actually that might be interesting for those of you also who've studied it, um, that you will hear a version that seems almost to have echoes of it and, and um, it's also freely improvised around it a little bit. So you will, you will hear some familiar phrases and also see what our wonderful harpist Jean does, does with this song. So anyway. Exactly, and I think in, in kind of in spirit with, um, I think anything that's sung in chant in, in groups, people, people kind of take, take it on a journey. If you, if you go and sing in a church service and there, are, there is any chant, people will sing it in a very distinctive way that that group of people have kind of found together. And in a sense, I think that's what happens with Hildegard's music or any chant, is you kind of find your way of doing it collectively. Um, I'm sure that's what Hildegard and her nuns would have done. So anyway, we hope you enjoy it. Thank you for being with us this evening. <laughs> <laughs> and see and many of you, I hope, at the Zoom afterwards and also on Friday at 11 for our retreat series. It's all on the website. So thank you for tuning in and uh, goodbye. Keep singing. In a minute. Bye. <laughs>